my name is divyansh puntatkar and today i am going to tell you about an interesting topic called water okay so water uh, is present on earth at least like 71% okay and you all know that th- uh, three fourth part of um, the earth is covered with water <coughs> so when i take the total amount of water means when i take the ratio of the 70% uh, a 71% water as 100% and then divide it so what do i get salty water is present in uh, the earth as 97% okay and the left of it is uh, uh, are also divided into three categories so first category is ice caps and glaciers it is actually like water is stored in that thing and is fresh okay after that comes the ground water uh, present like 0.3% okay uh, and the ice caps and glaciers are present in 2% and after that uh, sorry 0.7% is ground water and after that in the last uh, comes our uh, fresh water which is useful for us okay so that is present on earth in 0.3% amount now we have understood the percentage now let's talk about water okay so water is very precious for us okay and do you know that the water in greek is also known as hydar and in like english language it is known as hydrosphere the sphere of water Uh, hydrosphere means water is a very important component of our earth or you can say our environment it's very important because it's also the part of the biosphere none of the living organism is able to survive on earth without water water is very 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 precious evenly do you know that our body contains 70% of water inside it and uh, when it uh, explain you about ground water so ground water is like uh, the water uh, stored in the soil goes down from a thin layer of rocks okay and then gets stored uh, underground and after that uh, i will i'm going to tell you that uh, what the table is actually the top layer of ground water so you can understand by its name why is it called ground water ground water is actually like wells okay and hand pumps and tube wells so you uh, can recognize it by that it's pretty easy huh? not that difficult and now let's talk about the rest of the water like ice caps and glaciers so actually it is also present in the atmosphere like when it gets about evaporated okay and uh, you all know that fresh water about it okay so actually before in the time there were not a good supply of water in like villages or something even today there are not some good supplies but uh in the cities there are pretty good supply of water uh, maintained by the civic agencies okay so the water is supplied through water treatment plant and is purified and then it gets uh, to the pipe and is supplied to schools offices and homes so let's talk about scarcity of water means lack of water water is very precious as we all know but water is being wasted okay why it is getting wasted because of human wastage humans are doing some bad things like they are washing their clothes in some seas or fresh waters uh, the fresh water we need for our survival uh, like salty uh, not a salty water but a fresh water they are destroying it 
like lakes, uh, rivers, streams, it uh, contains fresh water and they are washing their clothes inside it. Okay. And after that, they are like uh, 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 taking baths inside out of giving uh, their pets, animals a bath. Don't you think it's pretty uh, gross? It's pretty uh, bad? So that's why that water is getting polluted and not even the villagers. The problem is also for the people living in the city. They don't understand the value of water. Like the people were, were people working in the chemical factories. They release all the chemical in the water and the water gets polluted. And that's really very bad. Okay. And as you all know, the water pollution, I don't have to explain you uh, uh, that. Okay. And uh, do you know the scarcity of water is also like because of plants. Plants are also the source of raining. So uh, the uh, trees actually uh, cause rain. Have you ever noticed that on mountains, it rains uh, really very uh, heavy. Okay. Why? Because the uh, trees cause the rain. Okay. And that's why if there are no more trees, there is no more water. Okay. And uh, trees are also getting like cutted. And that's why evenly global warming is a cause by which water is getting evaporated more and more. And when we talk about clouds, where are they going to be uh, rained? So you all know they are going to be uh, rained where the trees are. The trees are planted. But you all know the trees are being cutted. So there are no more trees. And so there is no more water. And after that, Let's talk about an important topic about water. So that's known as water management, waste water management. It's uh, also known as water conservation. Water conservation is important because if we don't save water, we wouldn't get it. Why? Uh, because uh, if there is no water, so how are we going to do our daily activities? So, the rain uh, water uh, gets stored by supply, okay? And uh, in such homes, there is a supply which uh, creates a tunnel, okay? A small tube tunnel which uh, collects the uh, rain water and then uh, uh, get filled it, uh, fill it and supplies it to the tank, big large tank. And that water gets saved. And this then supply to other people. And even uh, groundwater is like that. Groundwater is also part of wastewater management. The, all the water in the um, ground, in the soil, raining, gets stored in the ground. Okay? Thank you.